Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the differences with volumetric lighting between Lightwave 2015 and Lightwave 2018. We are going to start with Lightwave 2018. In Lightwave 2018, we now have per light volumetric sample setting and a per light volumetric intensity setting. And we also have the way to use nodes to affect the volumetric shading. In 2018, we have this new volumetrics tab. We have enable volumetrics and we have a button called use volumetric scattering. I'm going to enable that. And immediately we see a physically based volum volumetric light. In Lightwave 2015, we have this button, volumetric lighting and volumetric options. Once we turn on the volumetric lighting, we're not getting something that is physically based right away. We are instead, we instead have to adjust the radius of the volumetric effect manually which can be tedious if you are looking for physically based volumetric lighting. Now we're, try we're going to try and match the intensity here and look at the quality a little bit. We don't have any anti-aliasing anti turned on in 2015 or 2018. And as you can see, the volumetric lighting quality is not very good at low and it's starting to get better still very noisy close to the light very smooth in 2018 and still seeing a little bit of noise so i have to go all the way up to the best sampling to get a noise free result and let's see what the time difference is when we render these. This is 2015. Let's move this panel here. And this is 2018. The difference in render time is huge and the quality is pretty much the same. In 2015, we rendered in 2.4 seconds and in 2018, we rendered in 0 0.1 seconds which is not, not a bad improvement. Now let's see, let's look at the other light types. Like so let's change this to a spotlight. That is what it looks like in 2015. And this is how it looks like in 2018. As you can see, the reach is much bigger because the ra radius of the volumetric effect is automatic in 2018, but can also be adjusted using the nodes here. We, we can now see a little bit of grain, so we can increase the volumetric samples to eight and the grain is gone. Here we are going to have to increase the height until we match the physically based result of 2018. And even when we increase the height to something big as one kilometer, we are see still seeing this, this end of the cone dark area and it is more visible if I rotate the light back to zero and in 2018 there is no such artifact. Um, let's try another light, let's try an area light. Of course in 2015 
we don't have volumetrics for area lights or for dome lights or for linear lights, end gun lights, photometric lights, spherical lights, etc. But in 2018, we have volumetric lights support. It works the same way as for the point and spotlight. And we can rotate it to see that it is, in fact, a square. We can increase the quality in again. We can use a linear light and we can use an Ngon light. We can use a photometric light and we can use a spherical light. Of course the spherical light needs to be bigger for us to see the real effect. So that those are the differences with volumetric lights and 2015 and 2018. In 2018, they render faster and are physically accurate, automatic, and work for most of the lights.